What are we even doing here? We're looking at a very special can of sardines. That's right. These are from RainbowTomatoesGarden.com, the tin fish retailer that I tend to use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan, the boss over there, he had these sardines made. You can see that this is like not a box or brand that we recognize. They say, pow, right in the kisser, habanero sardines. So like, it doesn't say Rainbow Tomatoes Garden right at the top. Look at the other side. This side says, ow, these sardines are too hot for you. Too cute for you. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's, uh, that's all said by Tom Mato, the uh, spokes character for RTG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, we look at these things and they're like sardines in habanero puree, sunflower oil, habanero pepper, garlic, product of Spain, where does it say? It's an RTG original, co-packed by Mariska Dora and Don Gastronom's La Narval. I don't really know how one goes about creating their own can of sardines, you know? But uh, maybe I could talk to Dan about it sometime, you know? Maybe we could all learn something, right? Um, but it's just so exciting, right? Like, Dan likes spicy sardines and I think he's been underwhelmed by the amount of spice in tins that were already on the market. You know, Americans really like spicy food, some of us. Um, and the kind of stuff that you would find in like, you know, your nuri spicy sardines was not really like doing it right. So we're gonna, we're gonna do it right. Maybe these are too hot for me, right? It very well could be. Let's get going. Okay. Oh, a lot of glue on this box, Dan. Holy crap, this, this thing's really glued shut. This is the most glue I've ever had on a box. I'm serious. See what's going on here? Holy smokes. Okay. Ordinary looking can. I'm just, I'm hoping I see just bright, like blood red of spicy spiciness. Blurp, blurp, blurp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Delicious tasting. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Ah, just licking that little bit of oil off my finger. I've got enough. I've had enough for today. This is, this is already, this is already happening. I haven't had Dean one and this is spicy. Uh, so mission accomplished, Dan, mission accomplished. I guess we can just, no, 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 no. We have to eat the sardines. The sardines are the part that I think are just like this. They're they're going to be a wrap no matter what. Mariska Dora, Dom Gastronom, like we know these names. Like they're not going to screw this part up. I mean, the sardines were not the problem. Um, but puree of habanero. I don't know. And it just gets darker and crazier down there. There's a whole piece of garlic. So it's not just like essence of garlic. It's, it's like garlic, garlic pieces. Okay, now I'm really scared to uh, try the, uh, try the Deans themselves. Cause I know that this is gonna be like pain. Delicious. In this second, delicious. Coming on, spice. Spice is happening. Yowza, yowza, great tasting sardine. Oh, before the spice starts coming on, pretty novel, the sunflower oil in these Spanish pilchards. <clears throat> oh no, I'm sweating. Oh, I'm actually sweating. This is really, this is really spicy, you guys. I've never had a can of sardines that were this spicy, yeah. What a great tasting little sardine. 
I mean, when you just get it in your mouth, there's that mellow, almost like tomatoey taste of like, like you know how like sriracha tastes and it's got that sort of like mellow taste before the heat comes in. But these are like way spicier than like just putting some sriracha on your sardines. Like look at, look at this. This crap is terrifying. Oh my God, I don't, I don't, this is really like. Like what, dude? Hey guys, Patreon shout out time. Today's new Dean's Lister is Lord Blight. And we got two new fishy freaks, Humphead Sassy and Mike Ben. Thank you everybody, back to the show. This is really a whole different ball game, spice wise. <clears throat> I don't, I don't rip open the pilchers that often these days. Just because uh, you know, we've seen them so many times, but I feel like that spine is gonna be the coolest part of the fish. Like I gotta wrap this up and go have a regular rest of the day. I can't be hallucinating all through like uh, my pinball match tonight or whatever, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what. These are an absolute buy for the spice lover in your life. They're the only game in town in terms of the spice level. Like as far as I know, I don't know, maybe there's something out there. Really quite intolerable to me, you know? I, I They're great, I think they're great, but just like any great hot sauce, it's just too much for me. These are too much for me. It's right on the box. It's right on the box. Oh my God, my nose is running. My mustache is wet from sweat. All right, all right, all right. Guys, congratulations, Dan, on your first can. I think it's gonna be a big hit. Certain people will know who they are and know they need to have this, but I think Dan kind of made it for himself. And I think that's a good place to, to start when you're putting something out into the world, for sure, you know? You gotta, you gotta get the product past focus group number one, and that's that's yourself. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Holy smokes.